Spade here. Johnny Spade. Private Dick. When I was hired to investigate the Visual Sound Company by its own president, John S. Bogosian, I told him I thought it was a little strange. He should know this company better than anyone. Well, I must have hit a nerve, because he started bawling his eyes out and crying over the spoils of success. He explained to me how, as the company grew, he lost touch with the general everyday operations. He lost that personal connection he had with each and every employee. His price for success was a broken heart. So he asked for me to get him a top secret report of the people who make visual sound the success it is today. So I leaned across the table, wiped the tears from his eyes, and told him I'd take the case. What the heck, I figured. I hate to see a grown man cry. Plus, I thought it'd be an easy job, a piece of cake. But what I found was simply shocking. When it became time to file my report, I remembered how bored I got banging away on the keys of my old Clark Nova typewriter. So I figured it's time to embrace the new technology. So, Mr. Bogosian, the video you're about to see is my official report, an insider's view of a typical day at Visual Sound. I think this will provide you with some insight and make you proud of the people who work for you. The following information and content is factual. Well, my name ain't Spade, Spade. Seven a.m. The work starts early here at Visual Sounds. Their motto: "The early bird gets the sale." As you can see, the warehouse and rental department hit the asphalt early, delivering audiovisual, video, and computer equipment to many happy customers. Tough work being a dick. Lousy, stinking driver. Luckily, my trained reflexes saved my life. That reminds me of the time I ducked a flying Ming vase. What a woman. But that's another story. That's got to be the most unorthodox delivery method I've ever witnessed. Well, I guess making deliveries without stopping has some cost saving benefit. Rentals and service. Let's see what they're all about. The workforce here operates like a well-oiled machine. Each individual, a cog in the wheel of success. Their devotion is unnerving. The look in their eyes remind me of the psychotics I put away in my early years as a flatfoot. But that's another story. Hey, hey you, what do you want today? Fried or scrambled? You talking to me? Uh... That strange character had an aroma, so I followed him. My highly developed sense of smell led me to the service department, where the only thing they were servicing were eggs. Why I have to cook on breakfast every day? Ellen, it's in their contract. No food, no work. Okay, which one of you wise guys has been cooking the floppies again? Hey, I like my floppies with butter. And I'd like to have my floppies now. 
We want food. 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 I think I'll investigate the service department later. after they've digested their breakfast. It's 7.30 a.m. As you can see, the president raises the employee morale by placing positive signs throughout the building. This one is a tiny reminder to give themselves a few cheers for a job well done. The visual sound rental department runs like a well-oiled machine, sometimes non-stop. They are an integral part of the visual sound team. Part of the success is due to the great camaraderie and trust between the rental technicians. Here come a few now. Let's go, let's go! Shit. Yo! What are you doing? What are you doing? I can't believe this. What are you doing? Why did you do it? What? Oh, my gosh. Excuse me, fellas. Uh, what's this rent for? We can give you a good deal on it. Got any credit cards? I'm afraid I don't. I think it's a trick, an old industry ploy to keep insider secrets from probing eyes like mine. Who set off the alarm? I don't know. Who are you? Spade. Spade? Johnny Spade. Get on over here. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute, I'm a friend of Mr. Bogosian's. Oh, you are? Okay then, okay. Lousy hands off of me, pal. I'm a friend of John Bogosian's secret mission. Thank you very much. Let's see who's at the Visual Sound Art Station. Mr. Mark Reedy, what is your position at the Visual Sound Company? Multimedia specialist. So tell me, what high-tech item was most popular last month? Caramates. Over the years, how many doors have you had slammed in your face? Uh, several hundred. Have you ever taken Mr. Bogosian to lunch? <laughs> I don't eat lunch. <laughs> what would you do if Mr. Bogosian insisted that you take him to lunch? I'd pistol whip him through within an inch of his life. Man to man and off the record, how would you describe your sex life? Untapped potential. Is John going to see this? <laughs> Susan Dunn, what do you do? I do pre support uh, with the salespeople going to graphic arts studios, and I do all the training for them for all the graphics people. What makes you so special? I graduated from Moore College of Art and worked as a traditional artist. And when was the last time you used this talent? Five years ago. Well, Susan, what you're doing there looks simple enough. Your art looks like child's play to me. Why do they pay you to do it? Because I'm an artist. Uh-huh. I see. Let's chat with some of the audiovisual salespeople. Describe your relationship with your sales manager, Joe Blanche. <laughs> Who? <laughs> what do I think we should do to him? Get rid of him. That's pretty harsh. Aren't you afraid Joe could have you fired? <laughs> After this interview, I might be. <laughs> Definitely not. In the coming years, what do you think will be hot? 
in years? I guess a reel-to-reel -reel video recorder. Dave O'Malley, could you give us a brief job description? That's a good one. I don't know. I don't have an answer to that question. The secretary disavows any knowledge of that information. How do you feel about your fellow salesman, George Irwin? Uh, last year I would have probably said nuke him, and now I say, uh, who cares? What would you do if Mr. Bogosian called you to his office? I'd do the fastest disappearing act you've ever seen. <laughs> At this time of the day, most employees take a breather from their intense work schedule. Since visual sound is a smoke-free zone, slaves of the vice, such as myself, must take a step outside into the fresh air. Smoking around here can be deadly. Let's get back to work. Oh, Jake, I'm Walt Reynolds, and I'm a, uh, what am I? I must screw you all up. No, I'm a marketing representative, specializing in, in systems. You look pretty healthy. How old are you? I'm in my 20th year. That's amazing. You must eat a lot of health food. Do you have any favorites? Anything that's fattening, probably, but it probably, uh, I don't know, really. I don't really have a favorite. I'd rather, uh, you know, probably chocolate. Chocolate candy would be the, fa the favorite thing, but that's not really a good thing to eat much of. Would you consider yourself a good salesman? Who, me? Now you're kidding. Besides your youth and beauty, is intelligence one of your greater qualities? No. Absolutely not. What did you do last weekend? I, I used to run, drink beer, and chase women. What did you do today? Mm, drink beer. <laughs> what items have you sold lately? I can't tell you because I sell everything. <laughs> and I'm cocky. Have you ever gotten in trouble due to this cockiness? Oh, yeah. Yes, I have, by Ann Fister. <laughs> it was rough. Behind me is the central storage location for all the Visual Sounds products. The men who run this warehouse work brutal hours to ensure that each and every piece sold gets delivered on time and in one piece. Let's take a look inside. Healthy bunch of boys, aren't they? I think we caught them at a bad time. It's the weightlifting hour. Let's check it out. Spade here. Johnny Spade. Can't you see we're busy? What do you want? I'd like to get a tour of your beautiful warehouse. Tours? Tours are only given on Tuesdays and you have to sign up with Linda, the president's secretary. Yeah, that, that president guy. What's his name? Yeah, I remember that guy. He used to visit us way back when. John, isn't it? Yeah. Could have been. Isn't he the guy on the TV commercials? Nah, that's some celebrity. I'm awfully sorry to have uh, interrupted your workout, fellas. I'll help myself to a tour. Hey, 
BK, be careful. Don't take anything. Believe it or not, this is practically the only area where I can find room to stand. This warehouse is packed with the best AV and computer equipment in the business. Watch out below. Joe Blanche, AV sales manager. Let's see what he has to say. And Joe, what did you do for fun uh, during high school? For fun during high school? Uh, let's see. Um, played soccer. Uh, dated women. Girls at the time, of course. Uh, there are a lot of rumors circulating about your wild youth. Uh, is there any truth to these? Any arrests? or? Uh, never any arrests. I, I, have run from the law on a number of occasions, but never caught. So, therefore, never arrested, never prosecuted, and uh, uh, I'm still a free man. A clean slate, you might say. Clean slate. Have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? Not, no, not to my recollection. Uh, Maybe I, in one of those stupors uh, <laughs> signed on the dotted line? Uh, perhaps, uh, I, but I don't think so. Fair enough. If Saddam Hussein were in this room with us right now, what would you do to him? Uh, kick him in the... Be perfectly honest with us. <laughs> uh, I guess I'd have to... I, I guess I'd have to send him up to Harry. You know, get him, get him credit approved before we ship him anything. But, uh... Always a good idea. My name's Marie Murray. And I do all the secretarial work down here in Visual Sound. I'm Nancy Strack. And I try to do everything anyone asks me to do. Where do you usually uh, go, or what do you do on your lunch breaks? I go home and let my little dog out. What kind of dog is that that you have? West Highland White Terrier, Mickey. Mm -hmm. And uh, Marie? I go home, and I don't do anything but eat lunch. <laughs> That's a good idea. Do you have any favorite type of music that you listen to? Mm, not particularly. I like all kinds of music. Uh, me also. Do you ever watch uh, MTV? No, that's not my favorite. <laughs> Don't know any heavy metal groups? No. Mm -mm. Country Western. I'm a fan. Willie Nelson, that is? Yes. Mm -hmm. What about the Nelson Brothers? Who's the Nelson Brothers? <laughs> Good answer. Have you been to any concerts lately, music concerts of any type? Uh, I'm going tomorrow night to the Valley Forge Music Fair to see Ann Murray so you know the kind of music I like. <laughs> I ought to say something. These two sly women wanted me to believe their mild-mannered personalities. But I know better. I'm a professional. Besides, no one really likes Ann Murray. So I investigated them further and discovered incriminating photographs revealing their rock and roll, head-banging lifestyles. This photo was taken from a police lineup after a riot at a recent Cinderella concert. This wild lifestyle could be dangerous. I believe you should keep a close eye on these two heavy metal rebels. We're speaking with Tom O'Connell, CAG sales representative. Tom, how are you today? Just wonderful, John. How are you? Thank you. Fine. Uh, just a few questions. Uh, how long have you been working here at Visual Sound? Although it seems like a lifetime at this point, I think it's just a little bit more than a year and a half. And you have been uh, fairly successful in your... Uh... Recently, we seem to be uh, doing a little business here and there, trying to uh, keep the, the place afloat. But uh, yeah, we're real busy right now. That's good to hear. On a uh, related note, have you ever been a victim of sexual harassment on the job? 
all the time. Walt Reynolds, my uh, cubicle neighbor here, has been calling me some terms that I know if I was ever repeated in a bar, I'd probably be taken out back and uh, beat up. We've had other allegations about that man, so uh, we're looking into that further. Uh, if uh, on an, an additional note, there would probably be uh, a desire on my part for sexual harassment. So if uh, there's anybody that uh, is part of the female gender and needs some practice, uh, I would be more than glad to coach them on uh, some of the finer points of sexual harassment. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Please note, the following employees refused to cooperate with my investigation. They all acted very suspiciously, which leads me to believe they may be involved in some covert activities, possibly a conspiracy. My conclusion, consider them armed and dangerous. I've been trying to track down Ron Ensminger, Vice President of Visual Sound, all morning. He's always on the go, but I think he'll be in here for at least a few minutes. Excuse me, uh, Mr. Ensminger, sorry to bother you at such an inconvenient time, but would you mind answering a few questions for us? Not at all. I look forward to the questions. Uh, how long have you been in that stall? For five and a half years. And that does seem like an awful long time. Do you feel you do some of your best thinking while, uh, indisposed? Another tough question. Uh, the easiest time to do that is in the morning before the, uh, the crowds of people come in or, or most normally late at night, after 6.30, 7 o'clock at night. Do you feel that you can apply some of your Navy experience into your management style here at Visual Sound? Yeah, I think it does. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how it relates. Uh, the building doesn't get underway very often, so it doesn't help in that regard. But from a leadership standpoint, yeah, I do. I, do. I think it helps. Do you... Uh like to go out for lunch often? An honest answer is no, I don't get out a whole lot. And uh, what did you have for lunch today? I did get out today, and I had a tuna salad sandwich. That may explain it. I want to thank you for your time, Mr. Rensminger, and for being so frank with us. I hope we didn't interrupt anything too pressing. I enjoyed the interview. So, Mr. Bogosian, this concludes my official report. It's obvious you've got a quality group of employees. A little strange, perhaps, but dedicated and loyal nonetheless. In case you hadn't noticed, I may have accidentally mixed up some of my questions with your employees' answers. It ain't my stinking fault. This video technology is tricky. I'm a private investigator, not Cecil B. DeMille. Uh, nothing like a good shot after a hard day's work. And the only thing I like better than my whiskey is my money. Which reminds me, make that check out to Spade. Johnny Spade. <laughs>